Okay, this is um, my 2005 Sonic Scion XB. I'm putting the cold air on there. Uh, it's just temporary in there to show you guys. You'll have to take the way I did it is actually to one bolt right here. It's a 10 millimeter. Pop that off and uh. And then there's a there's a bolt here, a plug here, which just ain't the right plug, but it is a plug. And that actually was should have been a bolt, so I can I can fix that. And a bolt here. But then you can take then if you after you get that done, pull this back like I did. Get in here, take this out. This is to hold your headlight on. There's one down here, and the two up here. Pull your headlight out, and uh, I went ahead and took the top bracket off all the way because I gotta. Uh, I'm gonna remount that and make that right because it it's got a little rust on it. I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna clean my terminals too. But it's getting in there. This hose right here will fit good down here, but it doesn't fit too good here. As you can see how loose the gap is, so I gotta fix that. Might put another hose or something in there to wrap it over. Uh, you'll have to take your sensors here, your sensor wire. These were uh, actually pushed down on a little bracket that went on part of the. Let me see if I can show you. that it's you'll you'll notice it it's snapped in there and I you just pop that out should have been uh, all right here it is just pop that out carefully don't break it and you have to cut these apart nip them apart the one the one's gonna go here and the one's gonna go up here the hardest part you're gonna have getting in is this bolt right here and my it still ain't in right the bottom piece came out I'm gonna I'll make it better see it actually should set something like that which I can adjust that when I get it tight uh, cold the, the actual uh, your cold air box will have a couple of bolts uh, this is setting in here like this you have three bolts and them bolts are actually there's one here it'd be on top of transmission one there and one there which very easily come out I don't know some young kid owned this before I did I this been I'm the fourth owner I can tell because there's things that are unplugged and broken like the piece here you can see the clips are broken it's supposed to look like that I can fix it I got plastic fix. But your cold, what it's going to do is come in here, go around here, and then out and down here with your cone filter. I got this at a real good deal, so. And then your headlight goes in. These bolts up here, all the bolts that I've found so far, bolts and nuts, are actually, if you're missing some, because I'm missing. It was the one out here, I believe. It was off on the cover. And they're only 10 millimeter. They're the same exact same thing as a scooter. And I'll show you what I mean. This right here is a scooter boat for a exhaust. You see it screws right on there. Fits on there. It's exact. Exact thread, exact everything. So that's what I, I used because... Remember in my other videos, I have tons of scooter bolts. I was like, man, that looks just like a scooter bolt. I don't know if I have another one in here to show you. That's, uh, just to tell you I ain't fibbing, that's where that came from. Actually right here. It's a exhaust bolt. It's the same thing. So, 
this is going together pretty easily you just got to be careful taking it apart you don't want to just jerk and pull make sure that you if you're going to put it in take off your front bumper on the one side pull it back and then uh you should be able to get in there i took the headlight out headlight assembly as you can see there's a couple bolts this bolt right here the piece stayed right in it which it shouldn't have so i'll have to go ahead and fix that and that just plugs back into here but uh it's it's going together let me know what you think this is my new scion xb i just noticed on my catch can right here this should have a hose overflow hose that goes down so right here i ought to get a scooter hose or something to put on there but thanks for watching I'll show you more when it's done. Okay, uh, this is still the 2005 Sonic XB. I just, uh, I'm going to add these videos together. Show you what it is. The hole here for your uh, mass air flow sensor or whatever. Mine didn't fit right. Which, probably a lot of them ain't kind because these things are slapped together when or Japan or wherever so what I did is uh, let me show you actually it's still plugged in I took my Dremel tool uh, it's got a rough blade on it but if you cough careful and I took that and actually went around there around there around there made it just hair bit I mean like a hair hair bigger then I took it on the side here like this and beveled that edge channeled that edge a little bit and it worked and then the factory screws that came with mine this is an eBay air the uh, air or uh, cold air system wouldn't fit because this wouldn't fit and I know people are probably disgusted and they're young kids or even adults trying to get that down as you can see right now it don't even fit but I made it to where I can press it and it fit right in there now I just got a lube back gasket and uh well like I was saying the screws that originally came with it on this kit don't they they strip it takes the, the edge right out and you see that let me zoom in there that's pretty deep and I'm not a geek or a nut or whatever, I'm, but I do a, did a lot of computer stuff before. So I have tons of these computer nuts and screws and stuff left. Made this in a little shorter because you got to have a longer nut. And you see the original. Let me put the original aside it. And you see how much I took off. Barely anything. What I'm, what I'm doing on these... Well, I'm clamping that in there. I'm taking it over to my grinder, my little bench grinder, my $20 grinder. And I'm gr grinding it on the sides and everything. And then I chamfer it. I put a little edge on it so you can screw it in there. So that's where I've got so far. As you can see, it's dark out here. I'm going to do a little more. I'll probably have to finish these videos up tomorrow and put them all together for you guys. Uh, it is a little difficult getting this in here and also on this this is where your second sensor is going to I'll show you tomorrow more second sensor is going to go in here and this right here would have been for close to your battery post or not that top but where it holds on the side and I got an idea to make that work too because I don't they don't it don't fit right so all right, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And if you put yours on a little different and easier, let me know. Because we got another sign on XB in our family. And if this cold air works as good as I think it does, should give you a little more um, miles per gallon. Nothing real big, but it should help out on the horsepower a little bit too. So if works good, I'll probably buy one for my sister. Thanks for watching.
Okay, another little tip, uh, when you get to put your uh, air photo, you can see my fingers kind of wet. Put oil, take just regular motor oil, make sure it's clean oil, or some type of lubricant, and lubricate that up so when you go to push it on, it should go on easier. If not, it's going to tear that up a little bit, and then in small pieces, pieces of rubber, it shouldn't hurt anything, but you don't want that going through your motor. So, there you go. Okay, this is actually day two. I got it finished up late last night. Uh, still got to make a bracket for like I was telling you. I didn't have one to get. I put this nut on it because it's got two inserts, which all, well, it's threaded all the way through. And this actually came off a scooter. It's for the back brake. I don't know if you can see it, but right here it's got an indent. So I can thread another thing in there and bend it this way and put it up, the, up there. So that'll help hold that. This bracket went on pretty easy. I mean, I bent the little piece down, made it a little tighter. The only problem I got with it is with this hose. This fits on pretty good after I showed you how I shaved it to make it fit right. Uh, the hardest part, actually, like I showed you, is putting the cold air actually in there. You could take your battery out, probably, and wig one in there, but this right here, uh, getting that down in there and getting everything, which, what you got to do, I'll show you again, is take this off, this one, and this one, and you can carefully, uh, which someone wasn't before, pop this out, so I take your front rear out, and then you're going to have four bolts, one, two, you have one under the bumper and one back here, but before you even do that, when you get down that far, you got to come in here, this bolt here, you got to take out the bolt here, pop this out, it just pops up, be careful so you can use it, reuse it, loosen that up, and then you'll come over here, and there's a, one right here, you got to pull this out, and uh, thinking, I think that, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that was it on this. Actually, I think, no, I think there might be one here. No, no, I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure. It was late last night. Uh, just them, th them, and you can pull this front bumper up enough to bring these bolts come out easy. And make sure I don't, if you notice, these top bolts are different. And I'll show you on the factory side that I did not take out. This one's got a smaller head on it. This one, this one right here, we had bigger threads on it than this one. This one had a, a same coarse thread, but it's actually smaller in diameter than this one. So, pull them out. You pull your bumper up. There'll be a bolt all the way down there. And then there's one, uh, you can't see it, but there's one right in here. Then you can wiggle this out and unplug this to get in there. It's a lot easier to do it that way. You don't have to take your whole front bumper off. And then uh, make sure everything's tight. As you can see down there, it fits in there pretty well. The only thing I recommend that I haven't, I haven't put it back on yet, but if you look down here and see this wire, it was right here right there I unplugged that because the person I had it for me probably had one of these on there but actually I don't know if I'm gonna plug it back on I might just zip tie that will this will fit in there fine but you're pressing down and it's putting tension on that wire as you can see maybe you can't but right here it's got a kink in that wire someone did that before I didn't want to do that oops now I'm losing you so I just popped it up, slid it underneath, fits good, put all my brackets back on. Like I said, uh, these came off 
the scooter. These are scooter is off, so I got I had two of them, so I just put two on the top and took the other ones out. The motor is like crazy hot. And the next thing on my agenda is going to be getting rid of this radiator. No, there's nothing wrong with it, but if you look in here, let me see if I can turn you upside down real quick. This radiator, trying to, trying to get in here where you guys can see it. You're getting the top part. Now I got the string stuck. Let me go over here. Well, you can't see it that great, but actually on the bottom, turn you around, bottom of that radiator and top, it's actually uh, plastic. And they make one on eBay, and I've seen it on other sites. It's all aluminum. And it's got aluminum top and everything. It's just going to be a stronger radiator. Because that radiator heats up enough and cools off, that plastic can crack. So, I'm going to replace that. That's $100. And then I'm going to put some exhaust on it to help. This is not to make it go faster for me. This just is the colder the air coming in, the better combustion and keep your engine cooler. And it gives you a little better take off and better uh, gas mileage too it will bump up the horsepower a little yes all right thanks for watching it's all together uh, I'll show you some more updates you know, I charge changing other things so I'm gonna change the screw out too and one of the reasons I'm gonna change the screw out if you look in here you're fine through here and fine through there but it's actually solid. You can't, that's not going to help cool the motor off. So I'm going to put something in there, keep the motor cooler. And I'm going to change the bottom ones, these two too. They make them on uh, eBay actually. This is where you can put lights in too. Look, I just noticed that. They make it eBay and Amazon. Amazon have them too, they're grill inserts. They're pretty reasonable. And I still got to fix it. If you look way down below, it's a little rust spot. But the top, your uh, cool, or no, I'm saying cool springs, but duh. Your strut tires on this are real good shape. So thanks for watching. Till next time, let me know what you think.